Well, many would say our school custodians are unsung heroes. In West Babylon, one custodian is taking that meeting to a whole new level. In tonight's State of Our Schools, we bring you to John F. Kennedy Elementary School to show you how Michael Kufo is adding extra sparkle to the hallways. I've been a custodian here full time five years and I've uh, been in the district working for six. Well, it's definitely full circle. Hey, how are you? Even as a, a student, as a, a child, um, he was always caring, thoughtful, conscientious, you know, hardworking. Mike Kufo is known as the school's custodian, but before that he was a student here himself, which is why you could say these halls hold a special key to his heart. But recently he traded in his broom for a brush, a paintbrush. I wanted to brighten up and illuminate the holes with my artwork. I drew it down on a piece of paper and the next thing you know, it was on the wall. So it only took three days, four days. No one had any idea they would come back on a Monday to this. Oh, this truly um, it is a labor of love. The paintings are beautiful. I knew that our custodians were like really helpful for the school, but I was never expecting this. My favorite part is the Harry Potter silhouette with the castle inside. From Harry Potter to Charlotte's Web, even Dr. Seuss and books with staff members' names on them. <laughs> what was the question? I'm sorry, start over. <laughs> Don't worry, you're not alone. It even leaves him speechless. I mean, no, this is just like a normal thing for me. As humble as he is, these paintings have brought students and staff together after a pandemic year, giving everyone a reason to stop, appreciate, and think back to unforgettable memories in life. They're always talking about it. It's like, oh, I love that book, or uh, my mom just read that to me, or even the, the staff, like, oh, my, my child loved that book growing up. So while he may be known as the school custodian. Hello. He's bringing brightness to these hallways through his personality <laughs> and now paintings. Now it all started because he drew a snowman on the window of the nurse's office and the principal wanted something more permanent. He also painted another mural at another elementary school in the district as well. And for more on this school story and others just like it, go to news12.com on your phone right now. Just look for state of our schools.